Hey there, familiar-looking plumber. It's a me, and not Mario, for obvious copyright reasons. Hey, what you got there? Is that a... Is that a multi-cart? My goodness, you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, I'm not a Mario. Retro Rob plays everything. Hey, Rob here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Super Games 143 in one multi-cart. Uh, these are very popular in the Famicom world, but it wasn't really until probably a year or two ago that we started seeing a lot of these for the North American version of the Nintendo Entertainment System. So it's really nice to see these. This one ran me about 30 bucks on, actually it might have been 35 or 40 because of the color, uh, but I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link down below to it. Uh, and it supposedly can save games. It does have a battery in it, so that puts it a big step above the uh, Famicom ones, which almost universally don't have batteries for saving. Let's try it out, shall we? I'll probably play about, I don't know, probably about five games, and then I will scroll through all the games that are actually on it. Let's get started. Before we get rolling, let's talk about general construction quality. This actually feels pretty good. It feels like a standard desk cartridge. The plastic grade is pretty decent. It has kind of that slightly softer feel that you get from a little bit better plastics. I mean, you know, it's plastics are getting better in general. The uh, Even the cheap stuff has fairly decent plastic these days. Doesn't feel like it's going to give me instant cancer, so that's a good thing. Uh, as far as the label goes, it's really just a mismatch of uh, different NES games. It It's attractive enough. I mean, it looks nice on there. It's better than having nothing, so not bad. All right, let's really get playing some games. Hey, let's pick a couple games to try out. Let's try this one here. Here, I could use a little choppy choppy action. <laughs> Aye. Fairly satisfying game. Oh, you come here. I don't want to get them. Nice. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Hey, he should have died. There he goes. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Oh, I hate that. Hate that. This is also a mistake when I go back. Gotta keep going forward. Games of the ridiculously hard variety. I get to chop them up. A little SNES beat em up action? Yeah. I'm alright with that. All right, let's try something else. Next. To get to the main menu, you do have to hit reset on this. I'm sorry, I'm like talking right into that mic. Apologies. 
You do have to uh, hit the reset and then it will bring you back to the beginning. Haven't found a key combo that will bring me back to the main menu easily. So if you know one, please comment down below. I would really appreciate that. Yeah, DuckTales. I don't think I've played the Flintstones since, <laughs> since the NES was new. Potato game. Surprise! It's a side-scrolling platformer. It's definitely not the worst. Hey, I didn't see McKids on here. If this is like the best of, I don't understand. I don't understand how it can be a best of without McKids. What the heck's going on up there? And I hit him. Looks like nothing up there is moving. Ooh. Well, I sucked at that. Let's jump off. Come on! That is annoying as heck. Can I go in these? Nope. Woohoo! Definitely not awful. Not great, but not awful. There we go. Oh, you little bugger. Ah. I do like shoot 'em ups. Come on. Yeah. I'm pretty sure at one point I did have this game. Um I think I liked uh there's a game on the Amiga I was playing at about the same time. And I just thought this was fairly inferior to it. I like the boss though. Flying into his mouth. Danger! That's right, he might have tooth decay. Is he naked, by the way? Is he naked? <laughs> oh, you better not be an arpage. Nope, it's not. Nice graphics on this. I don't like the turnaround, though. That's always driven me nuts when they do that. They have that kind of uh, in-between animation. On the NES. On the NES, it's a problem. In general, I don't think it is. It adds a little bit of lagginess to the uh, controls. That said, this is pretty decent. I guess that... Uh... There we go. Mm, 
this is pretty good. I'll definitely be playing this one again. Give me that. Give me it. Oh. Nothing gonna dive bomb me? No. Not that kind of game, apparently. Come on. Get up there. Oh, I know. I see the point of this. Just get across that. Oh, yeah, nice save. I like games where they got the ability to like grab stuff. And they went that effect, huh? Cut off my, my hand! Cut off my hand! Better get serious. Somebody's gonna complain about my crappy playing. Well, you are gonna die. Hmm. Just for the record, this game is good. And Parodius, which is basically Darius, Gradius, whatever. It's fun, nonetheless. I've always liked it because it's a little bit more whimsical. Which makes it a little bit more fun. Just in my opinion. So in some ways, graphics do matter. Anyway. Kind of a patterny game. I'm going to have to... Yeah. There we go. And if you get off pattern like I just did, your host, it's hard to recover from it. Get him. Missed a bonus there. Yeah, not gonna happen. There is the joy of picking up candy as well. I don't know why I have the hardest time with that pattern. Like when they just kind of go up and down and up and down. I don't know why. Another game with really nice graphics. I mean, as far as the NES goes, I think this looks really good. Hitting that bell. On the turbo graphics, this game can be a stinker. Oop, messed it up. Looks nice. Let's go. I was younger, I always wanted this game, and uh, for whatever reason, I never did pick it up, and I really kind of missed out because this is a pretty solid title. Ah, break. Stakes were made. Went around that corner a little bit too fast. Oh. Is that supposed to be a Porsche or is it a Beetle? Hard to 
hard to say. Come on. Look at all the signs flying by. They're very tall. Oops. Oh, mess up. All right, let's get to the final verdict on this multi-cart. Be right back. Final verdict on the Super 143 in one multi-cart. Well, all in all, I do like it quite a bit, especially at the price point for 35 bucks. Uh, finally, a multi-cart that is pretty decent that is at the same price. The collection of games is really quite good. Some of my favorites were on there. I like uh, some of the games that I hadn't played before were really good as you can see during the video um, just really good solid collection note that I have heard that the Tetris games that are on there neither one of them is an original uh, NES Tetris now that said I didn't check that real thoroughly so it is possible that there's been multiple versions on the NES that has certainly happened on different game systems so it is possible that they just have different versions uh, from the one that that person had played. And um, it, you know, as long as it's a good game of Tetris, who cares, really? I mean, I understand authenticity, but it is a pirate cart, and you're gonna get that kind of thing on pirate carts. Uh, finally, a little note on the save function. Remember that the save function only works if the original game supported it. So if it doesn't have a save, a save function built into it it's not going to save here and you can only save one game at a time so if you save another game or your brother or your sister or your wife or your husband or whatever if they save a second game they are saving over your game so please keep that in mind only one save game at a time all right so thumbs up for it you know like I said for the price you know, what do you want? It gives you pretty much what you can expect in that price range. It's really the price of one decent NES cartridge at this point. So not bad. Decent construction quality, decent product. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will see you in a couple days. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos